Good morning, it is the last day of May, Memorial Day. The day we remember fallen members of the military. Uh, I'm heading out of Chama, I'm at the southern end of Chama, and uh, trying to hitchhike, so let me put my thumb out here because some vehicles are coming by. It's about as good a place to hitch as you can find because uh, it's at the southern end of town. It's a place for cars to pull off if they see me. They can get a good look at me. Decide I'm not a hobo. I'm, I'm really a hiker. You have to show your trekking poles and your backpack. Uh, had a good uh, breakfast this morning with um, uh, cougar bait at Fina's Cafe and a whole bunch of hiker trash came in from uh, from the northern Cumbres Pass. I think everybody's trying to come in before the come in before the thunderstorm which is going to hit somewhere between uh, noon and 3 or 4 p.m. Today, as far as I know, I'm the only person leaving town today. He's just pulling into the Lowe's. Uh, well, anyway, we'll see how long it is. It, it's a long hitch. I mean, it's like 40 miles to get back to the trail. So, but it's straight down this highway. So. I might take my pack off, prominently display it, <laughs> but we'll see. Clouds are getting thick already, so we'll see how it goes today. Several cars per minute been an hour and a half so far. One guy came by, said he could give me a ride seven miles. But that wouldn't be in as good a place as this is. I mean, I, I don't know that I've ever seen sort of a good, as good a place to hitch as this. But some places I don't like to pick up hitchhikers, I guess. Don't know what the Continental Divide Trail is. Don't know what these scruffy looking hikers are like. <laughs> well, it's now been two and three quarters hours. And like I was just telling X-Ray, it's one thing to be hiking in the rain. Yeah, those clouds. Yeah, that's the thunderstorm for today. That's coming in pretty quick. It's one thing to be hiking in the rain. It's another thing to be hitchhiking in the rain. Two and three quarters hours. I would have thought, no kidding, five to 10 minute hitch, given the traffic. I mean, I mean, you can see the cars going by. You know, they're all pickups with king cabs and SUVs and plenty of space. This isn't like, uh, you know, a two-seater. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, X-Ray did tell me, though, that when they did this a few days ago, the, the owner of the hotel where they're staying, the hotel and shops, uh, shuttled them down there for gas money down 40 miles each way so that's looking that's not looking good okay I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna start making some phone calls in probably 30 minutes it's gonna be raining hard.
midnight to noon, so the snow was solid. Oh, I just like, and it, and it was full moon, so on the Arizona Trail, it brings you in, like, you go, you, you go up over the mountain, back into the valley. Right, so you're hiking in the middle of the valley almost. And it was full moon, bouncing off the sky. Yeah, Airbnb. I think I finally made the right.